It's Monday morning and I'm doing a quick video on a 1971 uh, camper that we've got for sale. This is the Sundial Mini Mansion. i take you for a quick um, test drive in it and then we'll just do a video walk around and show you this bus and uh, let you have a look. Okay, so this has been sitting cold. Um, give it a give it a start here. See how see how she starts up. Fires right up. I will show you later in the video um, the tailpipe, the baffle part of the tailpipe was missing when we picked it up, and we were taking it to the VW Invasion car show, and I needed a section of tailpipe, and I couldn't get one here in time, and so we. Uh, I had a local muffler shop just bend me up a little pipe, so it is it is a little louder than uh, than it should be, but uh, that that would be fixed with that baffle. Just go take it for a spin, and then uh, once we get back, we'll do a walk around. I'll show you all the interior. This bus is listed at nine thousand um, dollars. It is a consignment. I'd be happy to you know consider any offers and get a hold of the owner and uh, present those offers to him but uh yeah that is the ask price on it is nine grand let's go for a spin okay we're gonna try this one more time with a little camera malfunction i'm gonna go run this bus up the highway real quick how she runs. This bus has a 1600 dual port in it that was rebuilt by, or at least installed by, uh, Wackerly Volkswagen, I believe in 2006. And I'll get the specifics on it. The glove box here is chucked full of receipts, uh, books on this thing, just everything the owner's done to it. It's got a very detailed uh, history log. So here we go, pulling onto the on-ramp. Go ahead and see what this bus will do. Brake lights, all that stuff works. I 
like I said, the, the owner's owned this since uh, probably, I believe, 75 is what he told me. It's been his uh, camping and fishing rig. It's been out to the East Coast multiple times. Lots of trips in it, lots of family trips. And he's kept, he's kept up on all the maintenance on it. So he's really taking really good care of it. He's getting, uh, he's gotten to the point where he's just decided uh, it's time to let it go. He's getting up in age a little bit, and he's decided uh, he's decided to sell the bus. All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around on this 1971 Sundial Camper. This bus is for sale. The ask price on it is $9,000. This is a consignment. Uh, the owner lives in Island Park, Idaho, and has used this bus since 1978 as his fishing slash camping cruiser. Um, has the the high top which does actually have um, a bed up on the top here swing inside and show you that um, the owner has decided to sell it just getting up in age and just can't quite keep up with you know all the maintenance and everything that the older VWs require this is pretty impressive, uh, just stacks of books, binders, you know, everything he's ever done on it. Anytime he fueled up, gas mileage, oil consumption, which he does, he, he did say it does use a little bit of oil, but uh, there's all of the maintenance. It's very rust free. Um, Got a little something here. I'm assuming there might have been just a couple little pinholes or something that he patched. But the floors are pretty rust free. I was I, I was looking it over and I did notice there's a little bit of filler in this dog leg. And uh, kind of down in this area. And then up right here. There's uh, some filler as well. Kind of through this area here. Other than that, I couldn't really see any filler on the bus. Here's all the original badging, sundial camper, and then if you move up here, there's the mini mansion by sundial. It's got a two burner stove. Did say it's been a while since he's used the stove. Then right here we've got a fridge. Lots of little cubby holes. Lots of little cubby holes, little silverware drawer, little flip up table. Inside, more storage above the front seats. Storage here as well. Water tank down under there. Potty. This table uh, pulls out. Doesn't really fold down like a lot of the other campers do. It actually has a little bracket right here where it clips in. Then it has this leg. Um, you can pull that leg off and uh, pull it off and, and stow it up top here. The extension for the upper bunk is missing um, so that is one thing that is missing with the camper and then the hammock for the front is also missing closet there of course the back folds down into a bed and there's storage underneath the back bed okay I'll swing you down here so you can see the rockers on this bus
maybe a little teeny bit of filler right here doesn't really feel like it's any you know any rust or anything like that that was covered up just maybe a small dent all right coming around the back of this thing um, with the rest of the closet here it's kind of got a little roll top entry into there Obviously has the bed with a pretty substantial mattress. Um, probably twice the mattress of a lot of these campers. Engine's just a stock uh, 1600 dual port. Um, air cleaner stock, everything, everything stock in here. Um, does have the accessory battery and I haven't really tried that to see if it works, but everything's hooked up and pretty much original in here um, one thing that's not original and it causes the thing to be a little loud up under here when we got it it was missing this section of tailpipe and we were kind of in a bind on a Saturday we were taking it over to a show and so I had a local muffler shop just weld or just uh, bend up a straight piece of pipe and so it doesn't have that stock baffle and it's a little loud but uh, functions good, works fine. It's just a little louder than it should be. A little surface rust there. A little ding here. But no Bondo or body filler in that wheel lip, wheel well lip. Swing you down underneath and just look at this rocker. Pretty solid, pretty straight. You know, unlike the dog leg on the other side, this one's this one's nice, straight. There's uh, no body filler in there at all. Floor on this side, nice and solid. Um, no rust. Pretty good shape. You know, this bus is the interior's in really good shape but it's definitely not a show bus you know it's it's been used it's it's been used how it was intended and they took it out and he told me they did a, at least three or four trips to the east coast in it and they've driven it they've used it they've lived out of it door panels in pretty good shape it's you know, missing a few clips. Got a little bit of warping from some water, probably. Driver's side mirror's cracked, and he's just kind of stuck one of these mirrors on there. The tires that are on it are starting to check. So I would say that it's probably going to need some tires at some point. Jacking points, outriggers, you know, the frame. Uh, everything underneath this bus is pretty solid. Come around to the nose. Bumper. It's not too bad. Looks like it's been pushed on maybe once or twice, but it's, uh, it's a decent front bumper. Lenses are a little cracked up and showing some age. Got the spare tire on the front. Cover's cracking a little bit. Windshield's got couple of rock chips in it maybe three or four it's not cracked up and actually the seals in decent shape right around the base of the windshield frame where a lot of them will build up rust it's actually pretty solid as far as the top goes the sundial top is it's kind of a whole different animal it's got some type of a like almost like a roofing material uh, glued all the way around the outside of it. It's really a heavy-duty top Not like some of the tops where they're they're kind of flimsy This thing's pretty stout You could probably easily put a rack on it um, Mount some bars on top or even a basket um, I believe There is a sticker inside here This vehicle is eight foot nine inches high approximately for anybody that's thinking about shipping this thing, 
it is eight foot nine, which that will be a problem, uh, or at least something to consider when shipping this bus. Even if it was going on an auto transport, um, that's something that you're going to need to talk to them about because uh, they will have to make some arrangements for the height. So that's the bus. I'm going to put up some photos of it as well. And uh, again, the ask price on this bus is $9,000. And more than happy to consider any offers. Just give me a call and uh, or shoot me an email. And uh, I'll pass any offers along to the owner. Thanks for watching.